Guys, sorry if I like look like I got makeup on, but I'm gonna do my makeup, and I don't know whether this is gonna go well or this is not gonna go well, but we're just gonna try. And I had makeup on before, that's why it kind of looked like I've still got makeup on because I didn't wash it off properly. So we're gonna do four ounces of this. One, two, three, four. There we go. And then my foundation brush, and then we're gonna put the foundation on. Sorry if I like look away, I've got like a mirror front maybe, like there. Quite a big mirror, so that's why. It's a full body one, so I love doing foundation. It's like my favorite part of the whole thing. So we didn't really need four ounces of this. But we do. We I don't normally do four ounces of this. By the way, if you see me use this brush more than once, it's because I do this for my bronzer as well. Let's just see how we're looking. And yeah, I just don't normally like do four ounces because I normally put like quite a lot. Like there's quite a lot on my hand, but I'm gonna look pale as I can and try and like look nice. So as we're all in this lockdown, I'm doing this, and I but the last time I done it. I came up with a brilliant plan. See, like that was four ounces, ounces, and I still need more because I still haven't done my forehead, my nose, and my arm. I'm just doing my nose now, but okay. And then I just need a sponge to get that under there. Get all the streaky lines off of me. See, four ounces, and I still need more foundation. That's why I do more ounces because I do like four ounces, and then like pretty much about around about two ounces or something. So. Actually, done four nine kilometers today on a bike, feeling quite tight. So, we're just gonna try and do beauty for my YouTube channel. So, yeah, I'm just doing my foundation. I normally do my lips, I don't know why. Apparently, it makes them much drier. And then we're just gonna like do my eyes and that. I don't put a lot on my eyes. I still do that. And then um, just a bit of as always. Okay. Now we're just gonna get a tea tree. Always tea tree. Because that's better for your skin or when you're taking makeup off. So always tea tree. So we're just gonna wipe my lips off because if it's stayed on there for too long then sorry it's just that was just a wipe because I don't like the taste of the tea tree so that's my foundation done now it comes along to concealer By the way, this is just a new look that I do normally. I do normally do. Okay, so this is my kind of sealer brush. I feel like there's a black bit there, but it won't come off, so. There you go. So I'm just putting my concealer on. Okay, and now I'm going to put my blush on. 
I'm trying to do this as quick as I can because I don't really want you guys with you. on my chin now. So that's my blush done. So now we're just going to do the bronzer. Oh my god. I can't even open it. I'm going to use this big brush again. And she went. She had to go. Um, so now I've done that, I'm just going to do this powder that I don't normally do because I do um, <laughs> concealer and stuff. No, not that you don't put that on top, that's. Um, well, foundation. I do. It's not. No, it's foundation powder. I only put it on my nose. Or at least try to put it on my nose. So that's that done. I'm going to use a little bit of that. So now for the eyeshadow. And I'm going to be using a try look, a well, new look. To get off again. And I'm going to use this, like, liquid eye, 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 lip, what's it called? Eyeliner? Eye, something like that. Okay, so for my homemade eyeshadow, I've got these eyeshadow palettes. And I'm not using any of them. I'm using, all you need is blush. And you might need some makeup remover and some pads and you need highlight beam. That's the main thing you need. And once you use this, you, once you like you need a brush obviously. And once you use this, because you highlight beam, it makes your brush go all like hard and like doesn't really look right. So just be aware that your brush will do that. So first you need blush. For the look but this time i'm gonna use the stick first oh, oh gosh. um i need this one. make sure i haven't got any on the carpet nope so i use this mirror because like yeah and then i'm just gonna use this blush This is like a really weird experience because I never put a blush stick on my eye before. But I use the stick and then I use the powder. So it makes it like. So basically, this is if you don't have a pink eyeshadow and it doesn't. You're telling me out of all of them palettes you've got there, you don't have a pink? Not a bright pink, no. So. This is how bright the pink is, and it's really cool because I love it. And it looked so cool earlier when I done it, didn't it, Mum? And this is what I call shimmer and shine eyeshadow. And this is one eye. That's one eye done, and like the eyeshadow but I'm not finished yet but oh god I forgot to use the stick because the stick is like the background because it doesn't make it that pink on its own with the foundation so it can be any stick I just got this blush stick it can be any color but preferably the same color as the powder because obviously it won't look right if your sticks dark and your powder's light it just wouldn't look right together if that makes sense so we're just putting the powder on now and you want to get it as high as your eyebrow as you can because obviously that's your eyelid and that's where you put the eyelash the um eyeshadow well this isn't eyeshadow this is blush you guys know what I mean hopefully Okay, so now I've just gone over the bit of side. So, as I said earlier, we need makeup remover. 
and a pad. So we're just gonna put a little bit of this on the pad. Like it doesn't take long, it just squirts out but the one I've got. And then we just dab on the outside where you don't want it. So basically a loop excess that you don't want to clear your eye. And there we go. You can still use that pad. And now for the highlight beam. So you just unscrew it and you need quite a lot. Well, uh, it depends how much you want to like shimmer. If you don't want to shimmer that much, you only need a little bit. Or if you don't want to shimmer at all, you just want it pink. That's absolutely fine. And you can make it as pink as you want just i don't like it about pink because that just ruins the fact that it's homemade so yeah and that's the eyeshadow blush part of it so if you don't want any shimmer then like i said before don't put any highlight beam on it on your eye so now you put the well i've got like a painting brush thing so you just need to like pretty much when you paint your nails, you just need to like paint your eyelash and then blink and then it should go up to the top bit and then So there we go. Sorry, my eyelash my eyebrows stinging. Anyway, back to the. So as you can see, it's on my eye, and then you can just blend it in. I like dot it like that, and then just rub it in. And this is when you'll notice your brush starts to go a bit weird. And then because I call this design a shimmer and shine, so I add quite a lot. Okay. And that's when your eye should start to go a bit shimmery, I think. In this case, because of the blush I used, it goes a bit purple. It's okay. You can always add more blush to it. Like, there's no harm in blush. Like, as much shimmer or as much blush as you actually want. I like a lot of shimmer, so I'm not going to add little blush to it so there we go and now we're gonna do the other eye this eye takes longer because i can't do this eye blink 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 so now I've got it all over my eye. Time to mix. So I'm trying to like show you what I'm doing at the same time. But it's not exactly working. Like I said earlier, I can never get the same the eyes to look the same. I don't think anyone can. Well the way I'm looking at it anyway. Might add a bit more blush, but there we go. I don't think I need a lot of blush. And then I'm just gonna This shouldn't well like I said earlier, and it depends on the blush you use, but this shouldn't affect the colour. But the blush I've used has affected the colour. But if you don't want it to affect the colour, then I wouldn't like you know I don't know how to explain it 
And then the finished look. And then I still need that mirror because of my liquid eyeliner. And then that's all done. And then you get the liquid eyeliner. I'm going to try this liquid eyeliner because I've never actually used it before. So this is new. I suppose that's. By the way, if I get black lines all down my face, it's because I can't do it. I mean, it hasn't done too bad. That went terribly, tell, tell, uh, terribly wrong. But okay, so now obviously, oh dear, I am trying to take it off. So I love to ruin things. I don't know whether I have mentioned that. But I love to ruin things, so I'm going to ruin my makeup. After all that time, 16 minutes of me doing this, I'm going to ruin it. Okay, so I get the liquid eyeliner, and because I ruined my eyes the last time, I literally poured the whole bottle down my face. Pretty much. So I just go dot, 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 dot. Don't worry, it's not this good. What are you doing? Ruining my makeup. You're not supposed to put that all over your face. It's meant for skin, this one. No, it's not. It is. Mummy, can you have some. Do you have some pets I can borrow? I need more pets. This is going to take a lot of pets. So, I love ruining, so, oh my god, this is so good. Why does this makeup remove smell so good? Mum, can I have some more pads? So you have to eat them up. cheeks done and now I'm just gonna quickly no I'm not so we're just waiting for my mum thank you and the pads I love the pads there is a step in there that can just go in the bin because I don't know what happened shake 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 There's only a little bit left, and I'm gonna probably use that all for the one eye. Oh, but I can just stay in there because I don't wanna make the video too long. So, this one's not gonna have like, any makeup on it because I just cleaned this bit. And, like I totally told you guys. There's no makeup on it. I totally told you that. Okay. Now we're just going to go a little rough, a bit rough on the forehead. Because I put quite a lot on my forehead. I'm saying that. I put quite a lot everywhere. I need to use a little bit because I'm scared I'm going to run out of time of the video and then like not take my makeup off because I love taking my makeup off with you guys. So, we can do this. I need two more pads to go and only a little bit of liquid. Great. I can do this. I can 
can do this. Okay, let's go. You ready? Let me get off this lighting. I look like I'm dead. Oh no. There's hardly any makeup remover left. Don't know when I met you, but I met you. I've got enough pads now, I can clean this thing. Oh god, he don't. I can open it and use it. Okay. It's a car. My eyes super sore. I'm gonna go now because like my eyes are starting to sting, but I'll. When you cut, when I do the next video, it will be off. So yeah.